In today's video, we are going to be adding needlefish to the backyard native pond. And I am so excited for this one because it's something you've been asking for. And we're gonna try to get it done today. Hopefully we can find some small guys because that would be ideal. Now I think this is episode six, I believe. Episode one set up, two netting, three fish traps, four, four we added our puffer fish army and five we did the invertebrates. Now we're on to episode six. We are getting there. We are moving up slowly. We're going for the needlefish. Now these guys are tricky to catch today, guys. They are, they're, they're tricky. We gotta be smart. I'm gonna do it right from my backyard. I could go catch other needlefish, but I found that the best way to find the small ones or the smaller ones is right here at the dock. Now I'm doing a little double chum. You know how we feed the fish in the pond, that like sparing jelly or whatever it's called. I call it sparing jelly. It's the lettuce. Check out my chum block my, or my chum bag. Nice and algae. You know, just in case we get some, you know, purple tangs swimming down the canal or something. I don't know. You know, the tangs love it. So let's get our Manhattan chum double ground extra fine. That's important. That will travel well and the needlefish have really small mouths and it's going to be easy to catch them if we uh, use the right bait. So that's gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous chum right here. This is how we're going to call the needlefish. So they're not usually, I mean, usually you can see them around, but if you really want to want them to get stacked up, you use some chum, especially stinky chum like this. So... And we may see other critters as well. It doesn't need to be just needlefish. We could get a stingray. I, first, I saw my first stingray here in like two years. I don't know if I told you guys. I saw it like a couple weeks ago. I haven't seen a stingray in literally two years. Saw one a couple nights ago, which was epic, which was epic. That's a good sign. May get one for the pond here. God, I hate this smell. It smells so bad. There we go. That's gorgeous. That's beautiful. This is all you need. This and some patience. And we can catch a needlefish. How many do we want for the pond? I'm thinking minimum two. Let's get it in. That's nice. That is some nice looking chum. Look at that, I'm right here, guys. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful sunlight. We can see in the water clearly today. Nice crystal clear water. And that is uh, that is exactly what we need for, you know, for spotting needlefish. They're gonna come quick, I'm telling you. They're gonna come quick. Now you can see how quickly, there's already so many fish scouting out the chum, checking them out. A lot of sand perch down there, a lot of baby puffers. That's what we want, that's what we want. We want a bunch of fish already coming in and it's only been in there for about 30 seconds. So, got all those fish scouring. It's gonna bring the big fish, the needlefish are gonna find out, they're gonna catch word and they're gonna come for that chum. And here I come with shrimp to catch them. So let's uh, let's give let's try to feed these boys because you haven't seen them eat. And the only thing that's been eating like a like a beast is the puffer fish, which is not surprising. So let's try some beautiful shrimp. And I want to get those grunts out. I want to get those grunts to eat. So I'm just gonna throw a bunch of pieces in. And we're gonna see who wants because the grunts do come out eventually. It's just they they're scared of us is the thing. And there's the puffers already coming in. There's the grunt. The puffer fish already eating like champs. The little fish actually eat like champs as well. And really it's the puffers that are the main stars of the show in this pond right now, guys. The puffer fish army is so strong. They are the absolutely the main stars. This puffer fish actually trying to eat the GoPro right next to me. <laughs> Look at this little dude. So the puffers are beasts. They eat like champs. They're gonna get really big really quick. It's the grunts that they, they will come out and eat, but they're scared of me, which is the thing. They're scared of me or scared of the GoPro. This puffer behind me here wants to eat the GoPro. Fully wants to eat the GoPro. Look at him, he's coming right up to it. Coming right up to it. He's like, what is that? I wanna eat it. So they're, they're the best eaters in here. I don't see the glass minnows eat all the scraps that the puffer fish leave off, but the bigger fish are scared to come out. They're scared to come out, so we're still trying to entice them out. There's the grunts. Actually, the grunts may have come out for a second to eat. We may have gotten that on the GoPro, I'm not sure. But let's throw the rest of the shrimp in right here. Just like that, let's see. Let's see if they come out for it. Because, I mean, everything else is, is good except the bigger fish and the blennies and stuff. They they are, they're comfortable in their little caves. The crabs, I'm sure, are gonna, are gonna come out and grab some, uh, grab some shrimp because they are scavengers as well. I don't think they're very afraid, but it's the bigger fish that we gotta just get comfortable. We're still working on them. We are still working on them, but everything else is absolutely thriving in here. They do eat. Oh, here's a blenny. Here's a blenny. He, he, he's seeing what's good. Dude, these puffers are crazy. Oh, he got it, he got it. The blenny got it, let's go. Let's go, our first fish species besides a puffer fish and a glass minnow to eat. That's that's awesome, that's awesome. We got the blennies eating. See, you just, gotta, you just gotta give them some time. Give them some time to warm up to you and the fish will come out. Once these grunts, these bigger fish know that I'm okay, I'm their friend, then they're, they're gonna be out and about and they're gonna be hand feeding. But everything else, thriving, thriving. And I cannot wait to add some more stuff to this. Our next, obviously, needlefish. And we're gonna do some scouting today as well. We could scout. Now there's a chum back in the water. If there's some big mangroves here, let's just keep that in the back of our head. 
because you know we need over a 10 inch mangrove to put in this pond which would be cool so keep our eyes peeled all right it's been about an hour here and i've been shaking the bag ever so often as you can see look at that cloud of chum that's what you want i just saw my first i just saw my first sign brooks as he sees him i saw my first sign of a needlefish it is a needlefish about this big it would be perfect he's going to be almost impossible to catch this is what i'm using right here i am using the world's smallest hook i'm using a tiny tiny hook it's, it's honestly too big for the one i saw he was so small he's about four inches it would be perfect for the pond but they're so scared they, the needlefish in, in my canals are so skittish because they see us standing way above them and they can see us from a mile away so i gotta be super stealthy when uh, when catching these guys so keep my eyes peeled we did see our first sign, which is a good thing. Now, even if you don't see them up close, a good way to do it is just get a nice piece of shrimp on and cast it out far and then reel it in on top of the water. And sometimes they're way, they're, they're far away and they'll follow it up. So let's see. Oh, interesting. Tip wrapped, no big deal. Sometimes you can just draw them in like this. See me just throwing that, there's already a herd of, of fish following this up. So just trying to draw them in here. Can't cast the shrimp too far, but we're doing our best. And sometimes, you get these guys which let me just show you guys what this is this is what we're going to be after in a very in a couple videos we're going to be after these guys perfect hook right in the corner of the mouth this is what we're going to be after soon this right here is the mangrove snapper look at that guy right there that is the mangrove snapper this guy right here is way too small he's about i don't know six inches seven inches he is too small you need a 10 incher to put in the pond but these guys a nice little scout mission this is not what we're after today we're after the needlefish but this is going to be our bycatch these guys are super cool they eat like beasts and they're snappers for a reason man you can feed them like like champs so you got to uh you just got to find the big ones which if we chum enough they will be around so say goodbye to this guy we are not keeping him today but we're after your daddy okay that's what we're after today we're after the big boys the, we're after actually the needlefish but eventually we're gonna be after those big mangroves now guys the yard men are at the neighbor's house so it might be a little loud but i see the world's smallest barracuda he's about this big it would be so cool to keep in the pond but you can't keep them they have to be i think the barracudas have to be 18 inches but this guy is about this big i'm gonna see if i can find him again and show you him on the camera he is so cool where is he he is in these waters somewhere. You see, you got the puffers and he was like right around here. That might be him in the back there. Just like a little, looks like a little stick. And that is the Barracuda. It is so cool seeing them about this big. The other day we saw a monster at the dock. That could be his mama, but I mean, I don't know where he went. I may have to try to catch him with a little piece of shrimp. He is so cute. That would be like so cool to keep one this big. But I think for kudas, it's gotta be 18 inches. Me, I think either 18 or 20 or 15, one of the three. But I know they gotta be pretty big. I see him guys, I see the kuda. Okay, see the rope right there? Now look right above it, right there. See that little that little stick? He looks like a gar. That right there is a baby kuda. Now what he's eating is all the glass minnows. The small, tiny, baby, baby glass minnows is what he's eating. That guy right there is a little miniature mite. Micro Cuda, that is so sick. That is so sick. That would be so freaking cool to have in a tank. I think you used to be able to keep them any size. They just put in where it's gotta be, they gotta be 20 inches, which is fine. Good for them. We follow, we always follow the rules and, but it would be cool. Just imagine, it would be cool. You know, we can't say, we can't say it wouldn't be cool. It'd be sick to have a Cuda that big. I think I just might have to try to catch him to show you guys what he looks like and then we'll put him back. But I mean, this guy is dope. Okay, tiny, tiny micro piece of shrimp. I'm talking tiny micro piece of shrimp. Let's see. Our boy wants it. I'll give you guys some call outs. I'm a one man show currently. I lost eyes on him. I oh, know I see him. He, he's pretty much the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. He's very skittish. I don't know if he's gonna wanna eat this. He probably, you know what? If I catch a glass minnow out of the pond and hook it, he might eat that. He might be more interested in that, which would be really, really cool. Okay, so he doesn't want the shrimp. He doesn't want the shrimp. He's a smart cuda. He's a smart cuda. He does not want the shrimp, but we got our we got our native pond over here with, uh, with some glass minnows in there. So we have free bait for days. And that's what we're gonna try. I'm gonna try to put a little tiny glass minnow on this hook okay i have one i have a baby glass minnow straight from the native pond baby straight from the native pond we're gonna attempt this here it is guys i have a baby glass minnow here straight from the native pond i'm gonna put the put a hook right in this guy's tail and we're gonna see if mr kuda wants this instead of dead shrimp so you gotta use what they're used to eating what is he used to eating right now baby glass minnows if we watch him long enough we can see him hunt these guys so there's our little glass minnow let's see if he wants it if i can find him again come on mr kud where are you at you know, I scared him away, which was a bad idea. Nobody wants our little glass minnow here. I can't find the Kuda, but if I see him again, I'm gonna try the tactic again 
of using the glass minnow. I think it could work as long as we find him again. I think I lost him in the crowd. I kind of scared him with the shrimp. So we shall see. Gonna keep my eyes peeled for those needlefish. Guys, monster jacks. I don't know if you remember when I uh, put the GoPro underwater the other day. Look at them, they're right there. Huge jacks, monster jacks. Here we go, here we go, here we go. No! There they go. They're gonna eat this. I threw a shrimp in. They're circling the chum. They're big boys. They gotta be at least 10, 10 pounds, at least 15, 10 pounds. And they are mega jacks. They came over here, they just murked all the chum. And uh, that's not helping our needlefish problem because they're probably, oh, am I on? Catfished. God dang it, dude. God dang it. Like this is the problem, man. Monster jacks, I throw a bait out and then this happens. The wor world's worst fish. Stop, stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing, sir. Keep an eye out on those jacks. I don't wanna get barbed. I'm gonna get barbed. Get out of here, catfish. Go in the water. Where'd those jacks go? <sighs> All right, we missed them. We missed them. I hope he got on the camera for a little bit, but he did not. All right, well, there was some, there, there's a giant school of monster jacks around. Like there was at least 10, 15 of them. So maybe I'll keep an eye out and we'll catch one of those guys. Oh, my hook got broken in half. Yeah, I had a, I had a, uh, I had a long shank, tiny miniature minnow hook on this. I wasn't gonna catch the jack anyways, but it would have been a fun fight for about three seconds. So keeping our eyes peeled, still no needlefish yet. We're trying, we're trying our best. That's all you can do in life is try your best. I just netted something better than, than a needlefish. Better than a needlefish. It is a baby file fish. <laughs> What? Dude, that's sick. That is sick, dude. I've never seen one like that before. That is freaking sick. He was eating the chum. I used the big net here and I just netted him up. That was sick. Dude, look at this little guy. I've never seen him this small. Look at this little baby. Look at this little baby, dude. What? That is so freaking cool, dude. He's gotta go in the native pond. He is freaking adorable. That is the most adorable Drop a like right now if you think this guy should stay in the native pond. He is the most adorable thing. Better than a puffer fish. This guy is the freaking cutest thing I've ever seen in the world. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at him, dude, he's sick. I swear we've seen every fish at the dock except the needlefish. I'm so confused. <laughs> I am so confused right now, dude. Like, I'm, I've actually never seen one of those at my dock. These guys are super colorful. They got blue. They're file fish, you guys know the big ones we catch are like this big. That's what that is. They're, this guy's a, a little baby Batolio, dude. Come here, buddy, come here, buddy. This guy's so in the native pond. This guy's so in the native pond. I would put him in a, in a regular aquarium. I would put this guy in like my colorful, like aquarium fish aquarium, not just the native pond. This guy would go in an aquarium. Freaking cutest thing I've ever seen. What am I gonna do about these needlefish? That's better than the needlefish. Brooke spotted that thing from the corner of her eye. That was a sick spot, Brooke, nice. I also see the baby barracuda again, but man. That is the best catch of the day. The needlefish are not here. What are we gonna do? By the way, guys, those big jacks, I keep seeing them, but I don't have a rod rigged for the right, you know, the right tackle. This is what I've been <laughs> This is what I've been throwing at them. This is for an 80 pound wahoo. This lure is for an 80 pound wahoo. And I've just been chucking it up and down the canal just to see if they wanted it. You know what the funny thing is? The jacks are about 15 pounds. They are terrified of this. So it's doing the opposite of catching. I think it's actually scaring them. So we're gonna go ahead and put this guy back. But I was, I've literally just been out here for the last 30 minutes just throwing a wahoo lure, deep sea wahoo lure in the canal. Not working out well for me. The jack, the jacks are staying here though. They are eating, I threw a rotisserie chicken in here, a whole rotisserie chicken, and they ate it in one bite, which is pretty impressive, very impressive. All right, we are gonna get our homie in the pond here. I don't know what his name's gonna be. Comment his name down below in the comments. This, it needs to be an awesome name. This is a once, I literally have never seen a filefish this big, ever, 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 never caught one this big. I just so happen to have the super long shrimp net that was perfect timing that I walk out here and Brooke spots this file fish and he is freaking adorable. I wanna name him Fabricio or something like that, Fabricio. But I don't know, that's my opinion. You guys let me know, drop the names in the comments below for this guy. But Fabricio for now is going in the comment, is going in the, in the pond. But for right now his name is Fabricio, like without a doubt. Okay, look at Fabricio, let's go. Look at Fabricio bro, he's sick. The native pond has so many cool fish in here already. Go on, Fabricio. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I don't know where he's gonna go, but he is chilling, Fabricio. Yes. I love him. I love him. I'm in love with him. I love him. I love him. That's it. I I'm so happy. I literally don't care about any other fish in this pond. We could end the video now, and I don't even need to catch a needle fish because this was a great A success. Needlefish. Needlefish. Oh my god. Needlefish. 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 Okay, stay calm, Brooke. That is the smallest needlefish I've ever seen. It's the first needlefish we've seen all day. Hold on, hold on. I need to, I need to rig the freaking rod. Okay, okay. We just put Fabricio in. I think Fabricio's good luck. I love Fabricio. He is my, you know what? 
don't even comment. Don't, don't comment his name. His name is Fabrizio. It's 100% confirmed. If you want to comment a name, you guys should start thinking of names for a needlefish because the filefish is Fabrizio, like without a doubt in my mind. Okay, Brooke says she lost eyes on him, but we're still going to get our hook, our uh, rod rigged up here. Because if he's around, he's staying. He's staying for sure. That would be the most perfect needlefish in the world if I caught that, like a little six inch needlefish. That would be too perfect. That would be too perfect. To get low. I'm so stealth right now. He's making what Brooke said. He's making little water noises. I don't see him. Far away? This is how you have to freaking catch needlefish. Like a freaking, like it's a war. Like I'm in cover because they're so freaking scared of everything. Come on, Mr. Needle. You know how hard it is to throw a freaking, this is a literal, literal fly rod right now. What are these? These are unidentified species. I think I might've got them. This net kind of sinks kind of slow. Jeez. Dude, what are these? Are those baby mullet? Like world's smallest? That is so cool if it is. We've caught everything but needlefish in this video today. We're literally on the move now. These just might be little uh, glass minnows, but they're they were acting different than glass minnows. Baby pilch? Dude, those are baby mullet. These are baby mullet. Dude, these are freaking baby mullet. That is sick. <laughs> I've caught every fish in the ocean. I've never seen mullet this small. The world's smallest mullet. I've never caught them this small. Those are baby mullet. Confirmed. Confirmed. That is sick. And we're letting him go. And we're letting him go too. And we're letting this guy go too. We're letting three of them go. We're keeping the rest. These are sick. We've caught everything but needlefish. This is a sick video. <laughs> what the heck, dude? That is so weird. All right. Let me try to grab one for you guys. These are baby mullet. Confirmed. This is not a drill. The only reason why I think it's so cool is because I've never seen them this small, personally. Like this tiny. And I know for a fact they're baby mullet because they were all schooled up together and they were all up along the barnacles there and like pecking at it. I'm like, pilcher, don't do that. So it's they're mullets. That's a little baby mullet. Confirmed. That's a fact. Look at his little fin there. Dude, that's not a pilch. I've never seen them this small before. So correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but that to me looks like a little yeah, mini mullet. See the mouth? Let's see the mouth, hold on. See the mouth? Boop, little mouth. That's a mullet, 100%. Get him in the whip. How have we caught everything except the needlefish today? We're literally bouncing around with spots now because we want to find a needlefish so badly. And we're catching, you know, baby batolios, baby mullet, world record, world record day. I got to check over here first, so there we go. All right, we've been down some canals trying to check some stuff out. Weirdest things are going on today, okay? Can't find any needlefish, which are always here. Caught a baby filefish, caught baby mullet. And you know what I just saw in the canal walking down there? I saw a sea turtle this big. It was the, I tried to get it on my phone. I don't know if I got it. I might've just gotten his foot. There was a sea turtle on the seawall. This big, cutest freaking thing in the entire entire world. I didn't touch or anything because you're definitely not allowed to touch those sea turtles, but I was just admiring that thing. I wish I had the camera. It was so cute. It was this big swimming around on the bottom. Freaking adorable, but let's get these mullet in the pond. I want you guys to see them go in and then we're going to have to uh, change our spots entirely to get that needlefish. Whoa, we got jumpers. Look at them. Yeah, those are mullet. They're jumping everywhere. <laughs> okay, let's get these boys in the pond. Water is extremely dirty today. Come on, Mr. Mullets. Go, go, go. We got mullets in the pond, baby. Little babies. Holy cow, I mean, we are getting yeah, they're some, out. they're jumping. They're jumping everywhere. We are getting some serious, whoa, whoa. All right, you know what? This guy jumps right out of the pond. We're gonna, so we're, where? Oh my God, they're jumping out. They're jumping out. That's what mullet do though, they're jumpers. Now I'm sure they're gonna chill out a bit once you put them in. They're all chilling with the glass minnows. Okay, I'm letting these, these three go. All right, we have got our baby mullet and our baby filefish, who's chilling right there in the corner, baby filefish in the pond, but that's not the goal today. The goal today is needlefish. So we are back on the hunt. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the Fish Guy Chris Kitchen. This is literally two days later from the beginning of this video. Okay, I've had a chum bag. I've had multiple chum bags in the water for, you know, days trying to find a needlefish. I just spotted one after three days of chumming. This is our chance to strike. A tiny hook. We're gonna sneak attack this thing, dude. Tiny hook, little piece of shrimp. That's all you need. This guy isn't the biggest, so we have to be, we have to really let him eat. Really let him eat. So let's go. We're gonna sneak on, up on him, dude. Just trust me on this, okay? This is gonna be a good one. Everybody, everybody, everybody shut up. Everybody be quiet. Such a prime needlefish, dude. This is perfect for the pond. It's literally so small. It's a micro. They, they can see you, Jack, so stay back. There he is. I see him. Hold on. He's right in the middle of the water. Hold on. Everybody, hold on. He's backing up. He got scared of me. Hold on. I have to throw this way further. This is a military operation taking cover behind the piling. Come on, bastard. He's so fast. No. He sees it. He sees it. Okay, hold on. He's coming back. He don't leave this chum block. He don't leave this chum block. Damn it. I think this piece is a little bit too intimidating for him. Come on, buddy, come back. Come back. He swam away. These needlefish at my dock are the hardest things to catch. Harder than a 10 inch mangrove snapper. <sighs> back to the drawing board. Back to the drawing board, guys. Maybe I need a smaller piece of shrimp. 
I don't know. These things are wizards. I don't know what you want me to say. He's right there. Okay, okay. New plan, new plan. This thing is so smart. New plan. Everybody stay freaking calm. New plan. New plan. New plan. New plan. New plan. This net is the best freaking net in the world. It has caught us so much fish. This has to be a perfect throw. Is he, is he in the middle there, Jack? He's not. Where'd he go? Did I scare him? We're gonna net this guy. Everybody stay calm. There you go. I think I should shake this. I'm gonna shake this a little bit. It's so crazy. Needlefish are usually so easy to catch. He's too far. He's too far. Guys, we have finally completed the mission. I'm not kidding you guys. I spent a week filming this video trying to catch needlefish. We finally, I went this morning, no camera or anything, and I grinded to get these guys. Now, these are some big boys. They're gonna look great in this pond. I'm gonna check them out. You guys are gonna check them out right now. And by the way, if you're looking at the new shirt, this is the new Fish Guy shirt that's gonna be dropping on Friday. And we're gonna give you guys 24 hours early access for whoever watches tomorrow's video on the Fish Guys. You guys are gonna get some 24 hours early access for the new New fish guy shirt super clean we got the sea foam pattern nice gray clean look with the fish guy in the back absolutely clean we have tons of stuff coming out this is our newest design dropping so it's really really clean you guys seem to really love the stealth camo ones so we dropped this one for you guys it's absolutely awesome but let's check out our needles there they are two big boys one is like really clear looking and one is kind of dark looking which is fine nice variety for the pond honestly it's perfect it's perfect for us exactly what we needed two nice looking needles for the pond and i caught these guys this morning i was like i literally went yesterday i went the day before i've been chumming my dock for four days in a row no needlefish here they're extinct here but i had to go to a different spot change it up went this morning finally got these guys locked in for the pond so let's go ahead and put them in i'm kind of pissed because this whole week the water in the canal was so clear the water in the pond was so crystal clear and now it's yellow but that's fine, it's our native pond. Once again, this isn't meant to be pretty, this is meant to have all the native fish we could possibly put in this pond, in the pond. So let's get these needles in the pond. Let's go, baby. I am gonna use a net and try my best to not get their teeth stuck in here because they have really sharp teeth and they get right, they always get right into the net every time. Don't get in the net. Look at that perfect release, look at that. Let's go. We got needles in the ponds, baby, let's Go, let's quickly get another, our other one in. This guy's a little bit more skinny, but I like this guy better. He's got a nice greenish color to him, a little bit more pale, lighter than the other one. This is gonna be perfect. Now drop comments down below on what you think their names should be. Tom and Jerry, maybe. Tom and Jerry, the needlefish. Let's go, we got Fabricio in here, Tom and Jerry. This guy might've gotten stuck. Yeah, see his teeth got stuck in there, but they'll come out in a second. There he goes. Look at that. We got our two needlefish in the pond. Now they are probably gonna be skittish for a second, just like every other fish in here who's been in the rocks. These guys will hang out on the top of the water. They'll look a lot better once the pond clears up. I don't know why, yesterday the pond was crystal clear. The last four days, the pond was crystal clear. No algae floating in the water, so clear, like glass. And then today, all of a sudden, little algae bloom, and we got some algae floating around in the pond. But that's fine, it comes and goes in waves, and we have our needlefish in our native pond. Comment down below what you think their name should be. They're pretty big, they're not some small ones. These guys are donkey needlefish right here and they are so perfect for the pond, so cool. You guys wanted to see needles, I'm pumped we got them. They're studs, they're big boys, absolutely epic. Great colors like neon green, little purple on the tail there. So sick, but we need names for these guys. We need names for them down in the comments, 100%. Tom and Jerry, classic. It's a classic duo name, and I cannot wait to actually start hand feeding them. Once they get used to me, these are gonna be the hardest things to get used to me because they are so skittish of everyone. Even if you're just fishing you know, at a spot, if they see you, they dart away like crazy. They're so skittish. So we're gonna do our best to get these guys fired up and get them hand feeding. But, but stay tuned on shopfishguy.com for the new shirt drop, our new performance tee. Helps keep you protected from the sun, helps keep you cool during the hot days, and keeps you cool looking. New fresh design. New logo on the front. We got a bunch of new stuff dropping. This is just the first of them. Go check it out at shopfishguy.com. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.